Thank you very much. So today I'd like to tell you that a room the size of the closet in your hallway could one day save your life. You see, most of the people in this room are, here, are from here in Lubbock, which means that what we're going to talk about is not a hypothetical exercise. To us, this is real. We've spent one night or one day watching or glued to our televisions watching the weathermen track a thunderstorm that may spawn a tornado, because to us, tornadoes are real. And to many people in this country, specifically those in Tornado Alley, we've done this at some time between March and August. You see, the statistics tell me that most of the people in this room don't know what they would do if a tornado touched down right now. And popular opinion tells me that most of the people in this room don't believe that sheltering above ground can be a safe alternative. You believe that because for, for decades, you've heard one of two claims framed in one of two ways. Either if you want to survive a tornado, you have to be below ground, or if you shelter above ground, you don't stand a chance. And these are wrong. They're just flat wrong. You see, there are two things I'd like you to take away from this conversation. The first is, in the eventuality of a tornado, you need to have a plan. That plan needs to include a safe place. And the second is, that safe place can be above ground. The Federal Emergency Management Agency estimates that 10,000 lives per year are saved in the United States simply by having a plan and a safe place to go. And in the face of what's going on right behind me and what you see, that is paramount. You see, for the last four decades, storm shelter research has been going on here at Texas Tech University. This is where the first above-ground storm shelter was designed. And since then, a lot of things have changed. Specifically in the last 15 years, there are organizations that have been founded that have come up with a unified set of metrics so that the storm shelter that you buy will have met these metrics, and when it has to perform, it will. But we really needn't talk about anything other than last year. When on May 20th of 2013, Moore, Oklahoma was hit, and an EF5 tornado touched down. It was on the ground for 40 minutes. It tore a damaged swath 17 miles long. And to give you a little perspective, that's longer than the island of Manhattan. Yet, after this event, still, with a preponderance of evidence, had they been looking, so-called experts came out and said, if you, shelter, if you sheltered above ground, you didn't stand a chance. So a team of us from Texas Tech went to Moore, Oklahoma. A lot of the pictures that you see behind me are from that deployment. We sought out every single storm shelter that was directly hit by the tornado. Before we left this city, we found 60. When we got there, the game changed on us. Storm shelters were everywhere. You see, Moore has been hit a minimum of four times in the last 15 years. So these people are committed to being prepared for the next event. Some of the shelters that we found were new, some were old, some had been tested, some had not. Most of the ones that had not had predated the testing regimens. But every single shelter we found that had been tested and had been certified survived. But more than that, every single person that sought shelter inside did too. And in many places, not just tech, knowledgeable people with the means and the buy-in have made living through a tornado more than a desire, more than an aspiration, it's now achievable. So if you live in an area where a tornado is possible, know that above ground can be a safe place. And like we do with our children, make a plan, because it just might save your life. Thank you very much.